Hello, and welcome to another episode of Lizard Tech, I think. If this has started recording, and that I'm not just talking to no one because I've not recorded. But yeah, um, so as you all know, there was an update to the pack, like an episode before the corrupted episode. And uh, I've been playing around with some of the things that have been added, like thermal expansion was one of them. And one thing that I want to mention about this is we can only use this pulverizer for things that need that need to use this specific type of pulverizer or like just for my personal use we can't automate this kind of pulverizer because obviously the one out the one out here is harder to make and um, I'm kind of lagging why am I lagging hmm I think it's got to do with the recording, but uh, I made the ME system. I don't know if I made that on camera or not before before stuff happened with that corrupted episode, but um, I won't be able to remake that episode because that, that was by far the hardest episode to make out of any that I've ever done before, and I can't make it again. As you can see over there, there's an explosion. That was a thing. I left some clips in there of the episode that weren't corrupted, so that mm, I, don't, I don't really know why I left them, so that I could talk about what happened. I'm gonna eat these mallow berries, which is something else I did. So I've done a lot of stuff, and our tree farm is completely packed. And I made a smeltery, or I tried, I tried to find one, and then after I searched for many, 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 many miles and didn't find a single village, I looped back around and I made the, I, I cheated in these bricks, but I made the smeltery drains, the basins, and the controller. And also this is filling up the water, but that's fine. <laughs> We have an igneous extruder, we have lava, f lava fabricators, I'll, I'll go over this stuff eventually. And, um, hey Kuro. So, our NPCs made themselves some armor, and sorry for calling you an NPC right in front of your face, Kuro. I know that you're actually a player, wink wink. Um, and... Kiro had told me that they had found, they had found Jacob's, Jacob's base. Let me see if I can show you it on the map. His new base that he made after he left, up here. We'll go and check this out again, but maybe not anytime soon, because of another thing that he meant it for real when he said that we were at war. He's, he's done a lot, more than we've done in our colonization efforts down here. And he has a lot of people, because he is not a Grave Obulan citizen. He was infiltrating our operation, apparently, and um, he brought in about 60 or so people from the Federation. And I killed about 10 of them when they blew up the, the uh, emergency portal back to Grave Obulan. So, yeah, that happened. And the tornado ripped through stuff. <laughs> and then I asked, I helped uh, Kuro and them learn how to make these sentry turrets. These guys. And Kuro should have got, gotten to work on placing those, but I don't think he's finished. And I told them to make a wall, which I think I might help them with. I think it's going to be mostly a nether brick and glowstone wall. Because I think that Ruin and Whirl are kind of uh, in charge of that. Hello, admin anchor cart. Why did this... I think that a tornado got over here. So yeah. But now we're back. And um, I've tried to go down mechanism to try and get us a 
digital miner because the quarry doesn't have silk touch, unfortunately. And there's no way to make it get silk touch. So I built us a battery over here. I made some cables. Um, I made this metal ultra confuser, and I tried. I tried to use hydrogen as a power source, but that didn't happen because, well, you need you need water to. Um, you need to actually make the hydrogen from water, which consumes power, more power than you get from from using the generator, unfortunately. But now we are tripling our ores, which is good. But we do not have anywhere near enough power. And uh, I've come up with a system. So when we... Oh, this one's going down. When we... Um, make our own dimension. We want to use the mechanism solar panels when we go to the moon, because we're going to be doing that. <laughs> I don't even know if there's the moon. Actually. Well, actually, we've seen it in the sky. Hmm. It might not look like the moon, though. But when we go there, there's, if it's like the moon, it should have a... It, well, it shouldn't have an atmosphere, so that should mean that we should get some good power from the Galacticraft solars. And then when we're down here on Earth, like in our tree building, we can use both the windmills, um, a big reactor, and the, those other solar panels that we have. They're like tiered solar panels. Or the IC2 ones. I really like the IC2 ones, but they just don't give enough power. If it would load. Okay. So this is kind of what we got in the ways of solar. We can also use these, but I don't know how to use the extra utility gen generators. We can also use these guys. But from what I know, these guys are... They're worse than even the solar panels that we've been using, which are absolutely terrible. <laughs> So yeah, that's been happening, and um, for this episode, I thought that we could capture the the uh, orb. So one thing that I don't know is if this filler will destroy will destroy the hungry node. No, let's hope not. So my idea is that whenever the hungry node eats some of this glass, it'll be filled up by the filler. And then that'll give us enough time to jump on top of our glass structure that would be made by the filler. And to um, to place these slabs over, over the orb. And we can right click on it with our wand, which is fully charged. And we'll have an, an, a node to keep charging our wand as time progresses. I don't know why I'm having trouble speaking today. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Oh, that's that's Kira's building. I was also planning to automate um, our hemp farm over here, but that didn't happen. And I expanded our windmills because they're pretty cheap, but not cheap enough. <laughs> okay. If we automated some of our stuff, then it would be cheap enough. Oh, I haven't, I haven't let the, um, I haven't let the hungry node be active right now. That's annoying. Uh, hungry node teleport. So let's see if we can do this. Um, there it is. I didn't bring any cobblestone. Okay, I need to go back and get some cobblestone. <laughs> great, great start. And I think that, uh, I mentioned in my Anno video, but, um, Carson and Dragon Leader should be joining us on, on Lizard Tech here in Christmas, at Christmas. Or sometime around Christmas. Because we'll have to get the server set up and things. Hunger Node. Let me check that my microphone is on, because that would suck if it was already turned off. Nope. 
It's not turned off. Oh, okay. Let's put our goggles back on. First of all. So there it is. And it seems to... At what point does it pull me in? I don't know, but it seems to pull very, very far. Let's see if it takes this piece of cobblestone. Because I mostly want to make sure that the filler isn't taken. Because that would be very bad if that was taken. It doesn't seem to be pulling me from back here. But here it does. So let's move that back one. No, it's pulling me from here as well. That's a pretty big space. I might not have brought enough glass. Okay, let's go and grab some more glass. Home. Sand. Ah, there's some glass. You can see that I was doing some preparation. But it seems like we're running out of... running out of coal. Good thing we have a lot of wood. But I need to upgrade our furnaces in there. To the Galacticraft furnaces. Hungry Node, where are you? There you are. Okay, good. It's a good sign. It hasn't taken this cobblestone block yet. Um, hold on a second. Hello, and welcome back to Lizard Tech. I crashed. But enough about that. Um, we need to get to capturing this ore node. So now that we're far enough away, I want to make a small cube and hope that this doesn't destroy the orb itself. In which case, I will... Um... I should need to move that back a bit. In which case, I will have to spawn in the another hungry node. <laughs> or we'll just go and use another normal orb, but that won't be any fun, so... So one, two, three, and then there. I need to have one that goes up. That orb is pretty high off the ground from where we are now, so we're gonna have to make this pretty high up. high enough? Yeah. I think it is. And now we just need to place one more torch behind it. Let's see if we can get across without falling into it. Because I'd hate to lose all this stuff. That's my main concern. Concern is not dying. I am lagging a lot though, which is weird. I think it's just hungry and it's generating a lot of lag. Or it's just my computer being weird. Which has been happening. So in here I'm pulled, so we have to be back here. And we have to line up the other spot. So that's about here. Yes, am I correct? I think so. I know I can be... No, I can't be pulled from there. Okay. Um, let's go and see... At what height is this? As long as we don't get too close to the node, we won't be pulled in. Ah! <laughs> I accidentally click control instead of shift.
So yeah, we need to move over a bit. So here... And there. Okay. No, 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 no. Uh, no! Uh, no, 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 no. Okay. Problem. Um, let's stick our way out of here. This is going to be kind of difficult. Uh, That's pulling up my cobblestone. Okay, I think we're gonna be able to get out of this. And we need to eat up here. Okay. <laughs> that was close. So yeah, don't jump, or just don't jump too early. So we need to move over to here, and then place the last, last torch down here. And this should connect up. Okay, we got that side. Now I have to link the other two. On. Link to the top one. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna have to break them and replace. Yes. Okay, we got it. Goat. Goat. <laughs> Poor goat. Okay. Filler. Now let's grab all our torches back because I don't want to lose these. We got three of them. Ah, oh, should be good. Lag. Now let's place the engines. I've, I've not grabbed one of them because I need I need a space for me to put stuff into it. And then I need to hook all these up. And I have a way of doing that, as you can see. And this should work, hopefully. piece of redstone that I needed, but that'll be okay. So fill is what we need. Yeah, let's just do fill. Let's put all our glass in there. And let's turn it to day, because I really don't want to deal with mobs right now. And, okay, test number one. Go. Otherwise, we can do some things with obsidian, but then it's going to be very much likely that we're going to die. Filler, you're working, right? Fill. No, do not excavate. Just fill. Dude, these redstone engines should be fast enough. Is the hungry node just like picking them all up before it? No. Come on, fill. Okay, this may be a problem. We may need better pumps than these redstone engines. Well, we do have oil, so we could try pumping oil in directly. But then that would require us making combustion engines. 
Let's just wait for these to heat up, and if they don't, if they don't do it by that time, then we'll go and make some combustion engines, or maybe even try to bring a our our power cube over here, which might not be too bad of an idea. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. Is it expending our resources? If it is, then I know that it is working. It's just that Hungry Node's taking it, but it doesn't seem to be expending our resources. Dang it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to head back and I'm going to grab our energy cube. I'll let these other two engines run. I'm just going to take this one off. Okay. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. But this energy box doesn't have very much stored energy in it, so this may be, may be a problem. Hope this works. Yes! Okay, good. How much energy are we losing? Oh, we're out. Okay. That's not a good... That's not a good sign. Okay. <laughs> well, we know that this works, at least. Um, let's make sure to bring more energy, though. Okay, hold on a second. Welcome back. So, hopefully you guys don't mind, but I saved myself some time, and I got a creative cell, and filled this. Okay, hopefully this goes fast enough now. Instead, I would have just had to wait there forever, but no one, I didn't want to wait, and I bet that you guys wouldn't want, have wanted to wait. Okay. I think this is working. I might have run... I ran out of glass. Damn it! <laughs> also, these torches need to be one higher. Do we have... Yeah. This is going to be a problem. Hurry for energy. We're good on energy. Okay. Okay. Um, torch here. Torch there. Torch here. And we need to go and grab the last one. Which hopefully didn't despawn. Very, very much hoping that that didn't happen. It's gone. Okay. <sighs> Sorry guys, but I don't... Well, we're gonna have to go back anyway, so we may as well grab one. Never mind. Very, very quickly. Okay. Landmark. Redstone torch. Go. We haven't made it. Okay. There we go. Landmark. Go. Landmark done. And we need very, very large amounts of glass which we can't smelt because we don't have the power. Um, okay, let's bring these sands outside and we'll smelt them in those furnaces. And let's make sure it's day. Okay. Make sure my microphone's turned on. Yes, it was. Now let's go and grab some sand that I went and crushed. melt up all the stuff as quickly as possible because we need to get the stuff rolling whoa lag yeah I don't, I don't know what's up with all the lag right now 
I think it's because I upgraded my graphics card and it's not as good at handling this kind of thing. It's not as good as at handling Minecraft. I'm able to play Space Engineers though, so my ability to play Space Engineers is kind of worth getting t less than 20 frames on Minecraft. It's not too bad right now, it's just like, it's just meh. Carson will be hosting that, so that, that should help things. Oh, we didn't put any glass in that one. This may take a while though. On glass, go. We need to upgrade these furnaces. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be back when this is done. Hello, and welcome back. The glass isn't done smelting, but I just killed something. And I'd like to see what you guys think. Oh, it's too close in. Um, what if I move out? Oh, I can't look at myself. That's annoying. But I'm a maggot. What about having this for the rest of the game? <laughs> and also, they drop slime balls, so we have to find one. We have to find another maggot and capture it in a safari net. Are these done yet? No. I just went and jumped around like a million times as a maggot, and it's not done. How about you? You guys are done, so let's move some sand over. Hopefully I won't have to pause this again. Hopefully these are at least quick enough to smelt four pieces of sand. Go. Seems like they can't transfer quick enough. Go. Quickly. Okay, we're on our last piece of sand here. And that wasn't even very much glass that we smelled it. We need a, we need a lot of it. A loot of glass. Okay, I think we're good now. 